What's up, youth workers? Paul Turner here from the discipleproject.net here with another great video for you today. Today, we're talking about a game called Pass It On. And I recently got to play this with a youth group that I got to speak at, which I haven't done in quite some time, so it was a lot of fun. Now, before I get into the video and show you a little bit of what the game looks like, uh, and then afterwards, I'm going to explain to you how the game is played and how to set it up. Uh, but before I do that, here's a Bible study for you. It's absolutely free uh, that I wrote for a video called Lost by NF and Hobson. And uh, it's a great video, and I used the video uh, and this game to go along with the lesson. So if you're interested in that, uh, after you watch the video and all that, be sure to watch this video where I talk about the Bible study. And uh, there'll be a link down in the description below where you can download the Bible study for free. Now, with that being said, take a look at Pass It On. game is a lot of fun to play. It's also a lot of fun to watch. Uh, and as you can see, you can play with any size youth group. There was about probably six students, I think, with adults and so far. I think it was a total of nine. Uh, so you can play this, and I think the larger the group, uh, the more fun the game can become. So how did I set up the game? Real simple. I said, listen, everybody, you have 11 seconds, 11 seconds to pick up any item in the room you want. Here are the two rules. Number one, the, the item you pick cannot be broken if you were to drop it. So that means they hopefully won't take the guitar off the stage or whatever it may be. Uh, so they can't do that. The other thing is, the other rule is, if somebody does bring a duplicate, you take that item away from them and you give them a chair. And chair is just super fun to watch them, as you saw in the video, pass that chair around. So you can have two or three chairs going around uh, in the meantime. Now, the goal is that they're supposed to pass these items, as, and some of it is as small as a piece of paper they had, and some of them had something large uh, like a, a crate that they had. And so the goal is to just keep passing it around. So I give them 11 seconds, go get the item, come back, and then I tell them, here's the rule. You just keep passing. You just keep passing. Pass it to your right, to your left, whatever, which way you choose, and don't drop anything. If you drop your item, you are out, but your item stays in. So that's when you see in the video where there's less and less people, but the items still remain, and so they are trying to figure out how to get these items into the hands of the other person. Uh, I, at the end of the second game, it was uh, they were got really good at it. So if it tends to go a little bit long and nobody drops anything, just declare the, the three people or four people that might be left, just declare them all winners, and then you can move on from there. Now, this game also plays into the Bible study that I mentioned earlier about NF because it talks about burdens. And I refer to Galatians 6, 2, where it says we should bear one another's burdens and so fulfill the law of Christ. And so whether your burden is the size of a piece of paper or that burden is the size of a chair, we bear each other's burdens regardless of the size. And so you can use that scripture, you can use the game, and you can use the NF Bible study together to make a fun evening of both a lesson and a game. So that is it, guys. That is Pass It On. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. And as always, guys, I would love to hear your comments. Uh, what items would you like to see in that circle there? What would you like to see a student grab? 
leave me a comment down below. Uh, and that's it, guys. Be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up button, let me know you like the video and you want more of them. And until next time, you guys have a great one.